So let's say that I was asked to describe the transformation that maps y is equal to x minus 4 squared plus 5 onto y is equal to x plus 3 squared minus 2. Now this looks a lot more complicated, okay? But in essence, we can use the uh, facts that we've pulled from the previous videos into this one. So first of all, both of these equations are given to us in completed square form. So I can identify the coordinates of the vertex in each case. So for this one, we can say the vertex is at 4, 5. And this video, we, video? This equation, we can say that the uh, coordinates of the vertex are minus 3, minus 2. So what's happening is that this curve which has exactly the same shape as that curve, it's just in a different position, is being moved so that its vertex is mo being moved from 4, 5 onto minus 3, minus 2. So if you imagine this, this is the coordinates of 4, 5, and minus 3, minus 2 is further back and further down. And so we want the vector that will get me from 4, 5 to minus 3, minus 2. So to get from 4 to minus 3, I must go neg in the x direction by negative 7. And to get from 5 to minus 2, I must also go in the negative y direction by minus 7. And so the transformation, it is a translation by the vector minus 7, minus 7. Okay? And that describes how I get from y is equal to x minus 4 squared plus 5 to y is equal to x plus 3 squared minus 2.